Hello, adventurer. We are back with another For Your Consideration series, a beginner's guide to give you a jump start on your class rotation. I will be providing a dungeon-focused talent tree in the description below, but we won't be going over it in depth. My focus is to keep it simple. Today we are going to be talking about one of my all-time favorite healers, the Restoration Shaman. This class is a great spec for beginners looking to start healing with a tall ceiling to grow and perfect. The Resto Shaman has powerful healing output, fantastic utility, and one of the few healers that have Lust built into their toolkit. Without further ado, let's get into it. We will break this video down into three sections, healing, utility, and damage rotations. I suggest mastering the Resto Shaman in that order. Perfect the healing, after all, that is your main responsibility, before assisting your team with the great utility and damage this spec offers. One last note, start slow. Don't jump right into high keys even if you have the gear for it. At higher keys, you'll be expected to help pump damage with the spec because of how powerful they are. There's really no set rotation for healers like there are for DPS, so let's break down some of the important skills to handle those sticky situations. Riptide will be your best friend. You have two charges every 5 seconds. Riptide applies a dot that also provides great instant healing. Try to make it a habit of keeping this refresh on all your allies. Earth Shield is a great ability to leave on your tank. It protects them from incoming damage and also increases the healing they receive. Keep this buff up on yourself and the tank at all times. Healing Wave, Healing Surge, and Chain Heal will most likely be your most used abilities. Healing Wave has a slower cast time but provides great single target healing. Healing Surge is another single target heal with a quicker cast time but consumes more mana. And Chain Heal is your multi-target healing ability. Great for keeping your team topped off when taking AoE damage. A little note about Chain Heal. First starting out, you may get nervous and spam this ability. Try not to. It's great healing, but it will burn your mana before you know it. There are some more creative ways to AoE heal that we'll get into a little bit later. Cloudburst Totem and Healing Totem are your two healing totem spells. Cloudburst will store healing abilities you use while active, and then burst with AoE healing for your team. I like to drop Cloudburst Totem right before my tank pulls a big pack. Healing Totem will post with AoE healing for 10 seconds. This spell is on a pretty long cooldown, but it's very strong. Now for the most fun AoE healing ability. Healing Rain. Healing Rain will blanket an area healing up to 6 players inside it. With the talent Acid Rain, this spell will also do a decent amount of damage to enemies inside the radius. I have to mention the big cooldowns in this section because I really don't know where else to put it. Ascendance will almost double your healing output and give you a burst of AoE healing when active. Spirit Link Totem will give your team a damage reduction buff for whoever stands inside the radius. The Resto Shaman is known for the great utility, so let's talk about it. If you're not using the talent tree in the description below, some of these abilities may not be available to you. But that's okay. Use the ones that you find most helpful to you and your team. First, let's talk about the main reason why shamans get accepted into groups. Their heroism. Heroism will increase your party's haste by 30% and everyone loves a haste buff. Everyone. Usually this is reserved for the first and last boss of the dungeon, but check with your team and see when they want it. Water Shield is a buff that will allow you to gain passive mana regen, so set it and forget it. Windrush Totem will give you and your team a burst of speed when running through it. Spirit Walk will allow you to cast while moving. This is great for high mobility fights or when your tank decides to run away from you. The Shaman is top of his class when it comes to crowd control. Wind Shear is your main interrupt. Capacitor Totem and Thunderstorm are your main group stuns. Thunderstorm is instant, but it has to be done within melee range. The damage rotation is pretty simple, and thank goodness, because although I would consider Resto Shaman one of the easier healers to play, it takes a lot of effort to master. Any damage is appreciated from your group, so revisit this section of the video when you're ready to start contributing to damage, because your first priority is keeping everybody alive. There are more than three damaging spells, but these are the ones I use and it really gets the job done. Flame Shock will deal damage and add a damage over time effect. You have two charges of Lava Burst that deal great single target damage. And my favorite damage and skill that I find myself spamming a lot is Chain Lightning. Chain Lightning is an AoE damage effect, but I will also use it on single target boss fights. And I promised an interesting way to put out really great AoE healing without wasting your mana. As shamans, we have this ability called Ancestral Guidance. This ability will convert all of your damaging spells to AoE healing for 10 seconds, which means you can crank out your DPS rotation while still healing your party. Well, there you have it. 
Hopefully, you feel one step closer to successfully supporting your team as a restoration shaman. If you found this video helpful, please be sure to like, subscribe, and follow my Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash yourfrienddustin. As always, happy adventuring, love one another, and be safe out there. Okay, bye!